François. Bonsoir. Good evening. Welcome to the Thomas Tuchel conference. As per usual, please raise your hand and introduce yourself before asking your questions. Hello, Thomas. In League One, before a champ Champions League game, Arola has played uh, during the Champions League. Is he the one who's going to be playing during the Champions League now? I know who's going to play tomorrow, but I cannot tell today because we still have one practice. The goalkeepers already know also who's going to play, but you will have to play. You have, you'll have to wait till tomorrow. We often talk about Mbappe, the scorer. How would you describe his style? Does it remind you a striker in the football world? Yeah. Well, to me, he's one of the best strikers at the moment. He's very young. He's one of the best in the world. He clearly can be the best. Uh, he's very strong. How would I describe him? He's very dangerous in the very last meters in front of the, the goal. It's very hard to defend on him. His personality is also extraordinary. He's very hungry. He just, he just want to score every game. He's a Yeah, you you need this personality as as a striker, and and if you if you ought to be one of the best striker, you need to be hungry. He's he's able to play, even though the defensive line is really tight. But yeah, he's a good finisher overall. Could you please give it? Give us some news about Cavani, and do you intend to to get him to play tomorrow? Well, he he actually was with us uh, during the last couple of practice. He was there during yeah both practices. But yeah, we will actually decide. We decided together that we will we will. We'll find out, we'll decide whether he's going to be playing tomorrow or not. But we'll decide tomorrow. He's, he's been practicing with us, but we still got to wait. The final decision will be tomorrow. So Manchester coach for him, the ideal scenario for him would be to score the very first goal. What would be your ideal scenario? So for us, it would also be to score first. First goal is really important. It's important for us to, to show our, to display our qualities and, and our strength and to play together as a team. My team has been showing uh, a very good level recently. Tomorrow, the key is to be confident, but not too confident. We need to pay attention. We shouldn't be scared. We should play together, and we should trust our skills and qualities, the qualities that we have in a team. Anything could happen. 
it could be in the eighth of final, you know, uh, that in the eighth of final, Manchester scoring the first goal is possible. We, we need to be ready. We need to be ready if this happens. It's, it is important that we score first. But maybe the, the game is going to be very tight, and uh, I don't know. We cannot waste our time and our energy to just think about every single possibilities and anything that could happen. We are here to organize ourselves, to plan, to plan our performance, to be ready, to, to build confidence. I think the players deserve that. And it is necessary for us to be ready to react to any type of scenario. That's the key tomorrow, that we were confident that we should be playing our best. And that's the challenge. During the first match, one of the key was the midfield area. Now that you have two goals, you have two goals ahead. Are you going to put some emphasis on Marquinhos, the offense? Or put some very high rhythm? Or maybe uh, you have a, a midfield with uh, three players? Normally, Manchester like to play on the side with a 4-4-2, a diamond formation. with two strikers who are pretty wide. And for this, we need to find a solution. This is our goal, to, to control the rhythm. But it's, it's not always easy. You know, that's, that's the challenge. We clearly would like to, to control the, the game and the pace and counterattacks very early in the game. Maybe both strikers with Lukaku and Ashford, you know, they're, they're very fast and strong players. So for this reason, we need to be very wary with a good structure, a good formation, but I, I can't really tell you the composition of the teams right now. With Leo, Paredes, Marquinhos, we have three players in the middle. And I'm very happy to play with these three players in the middle. When we went to nil in the first game, what is the danger for the second match tomorrow? You think you should manage the game or you should just go, go on, go forth and try and win again? To my opinion, it's, it's necessary just to forget the first result during the first match. You know, luck is, we also have luck, you know, luck is also a factor in, in a match. But we want to make sure that there's no luck and we want to win. It's, it's, a, it's important to repeat the good things, the things that we did well. It's important to reproduce this on the field tomorrow. You know, play in the intervals, find the right areas. You know, just work on whatever we did well before and reproduce that tomorrow. It's important to forget the result, but just just to concentrate on the actual performance. We're going to play the same way, whether we drew, whether we actually won the first match. We can't, I can't just let the players be influenced by the first, the first game's result. It's not our mentality. To my opinion, you're in the eighth. You're playing an eighth final match. You have to play. You have to be two hundred percent. And then the results is going to be, it's going to be what it is. But 
we're going to just give our best. So his team was was brilliant during the first game and lots of other teams have been watching you. Some other teams haven't been that shiny and they may actually also be strong. So do you think, do you have any kind of pressure, the fact that the team is so shiny at the European level at the moment? No, not really. Um, we don't have a history of winning uh, the Champions League, and so we don't have that mentality, we don't have that pressure. It's a bit like tennis. If you've never won Roland Garros or, or played uh, a semi-final, you, can, you can't really show up for anything, really. You, you just have to show every day, every game, that you're able to, to play good football and to perform. We have shown that we could play well in Old Trafford and the victory was well deserved. And, you know, Manchester is a good team. They've actually won many games uh, before, even in their own championship. But, you know, we won, and now it's, it's, it's time to, to play well again. And we don't want to talk about finals as long as we're only in the eighth of final right now. So you just said that you should forget about the score, your performance during the first match, and focus on the performance. So what type of mistakes? Uh, you say you should put, you should focus on uh, the things that you did well. Um, so what what do you need to work on though? What what didn't you do well during the first match? Well, we should improve, work. There are things that we didn't do well, definitely. But the goal is to, to improve and work on these things. It's not always do better and better and more and more, but sometimes it's just take these mistakes and improve, work on these mistakes. There are always things to improve in the way we play. We need to find new openings. And I think the, the formation and the structure of the Manchester team will change. So for us, it's, it's important to remain an offensive team, to show that we are offensive and that we are confident. You know, if Chupa is also showing confidence, this will definitely help the team. We want to be consistent. We're working on being more consistent. Do the same harm to you as he did in 99 with Bayern. And can you please answer in English? <laughs> <laughs> it's better always to be aware of uh, the qualities of uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He has, uh, he has uh, showed uh, a, lot of, a lot of times, not only to Bayern Munich, but a lot of times that he is a super sub. And, he uh, uh, was one of the key players of the biggest era in this club and he was a guy totally as a striker but totally devoted to the team, always ready to help in, in half an hour, 20 minutes, 10 minutes or 5 minutes. And this is the, the spirit that made him big and this is a spirit that is like for me 
like a spirit that, that I would describe Manchester United. So it's better for us to, to accept this reality that these guys are, are ready for everything and they will believe because it's a strong club with a strong history. With a very strong record under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, before us, after us, more or less only winning, winning, winning. So for me, it's totally normal that we accept this quality, that we respect this quality, and uh, we prepare for everything. And we prepare for the best Manchester United, and uh, it's a big, big challenge for us, and a big challenge for us. And then, hopefully, we have, we have, uh, we we can bring this what we what we earned ourselves in the in the in the first match. Now is the challenge to to bring it to the end, and uh, it's a big challenge for us. Merci beaucoup.